Hey guys, today I thought I would actually make a start on my wardrobe organization. So this video is part of my bedroom makeover series and I did say in the first two videos that this would be a very like slow process and I mean that like sincerely because it has been like a month since these drawers were built and I actually have nothing in them they're still empty because I just haven't really felt like doing my clothes organization at this point so um, today I'm finally feeling like it so I think I'll start filling up these drawers and I thought I would share this process with you because this is a series it's just kind of spaced out series but I'm gonna jump up and show you my current wardrobe situation because it's just you know a little bit of a mess this is one side of my wardrobe and it's actually not that messy like these clothes here look perfect because I haven't been anywhere for like three months because we've been in lockdown for three months I haven't touched any of those clothes up here though because like sometimes I wear pants and whatever and I also have known that I'm going to be moving all of my clothes into the drawers that I just started shoving stuff in here but um, in here I have a bin of sort of like pants and then if I come over to the other side this was neatly folded sweaters until like I just said I started throwing stuff in there and then in this bin I have tops that's starting to overflow this one is like pajamas and stuff this is accessories I have some bags up the top and then this one is skirts and stuff like summer clothes which is great because I can bring that down and start wearing those soon now that it's getting warmer and then down the bottom here is my little collection of flowers that I have drying and then I also have some shoes but then I also have some petals from the flowers that have kind of shed so this is uh, a little project on this side but I'm going to start with this one because this is tops and I want to put tops into the top of the drawer just been sorting through my clothes I have a sweater that can go with the rest of my sweaters these two items need to be hung up that's some clean clothes I haven't sorted through yet this is a pile of stuff that I actually don't want because they don't fit anymore um, they're too big for me now so I've decided it's about time to move those on plus I've had these since 2016 so they are a little bit old and then I have t-shirts which I love and I wear these like most of the time especially being in isolation these are seasonal and they're just plain long sleeve shirts that I wear under sweaters when it's too cold so I could probably put them away for the season because I don't need them anymore these are just some of my tops that I wear under I don't know like sweaters or whatever and then these are probably my nicer tops and things that I have over here that I like would wear when I'm going somewhere So these are pretty much all the tops that I own. I mean, it's not quite true and that there are a few things that are in like the wash, but I also have some nicer tops that are hanging up in the wardrobe that I wouldn't fold up in here, but that's pretty much it. So now I'm thinking that maybe there's room in here that I could put my sweaters over this side or at the back or something because yeah, I actually have a lot more room and a lot less clothes than I thought I did. I must say that that's quite satisfying. I mean, it's not the neatest and not everything is folded a special way or anything like that, but um, it's easy to grab. There's still room in there and it's actually pretty much all of my tops and all of my sweaters in the one drawer, but I'm quite pleased with this. So yeah, that's drawer number one done. I think in the second drawer, I'll probably do pajamas and gym clothes. And then in the bottom drawer, I'll probably do like bottoms, shorts, pants, jeans, skirts, and there's a lot more. That's why I will leave all of that for the bigger drawer at the bottom. Done with the next drawer and there is a lot of space at the back as well. I have like three tracksuit pants slash pajama pants. I have another pair that I'm currently wearing and then one pair in the wash. I have a couple of jumpers, a pair of gym leggings, a gym jumper I guess, a couple pairs of shorts, sports bra, and then I also have these couple of leggings that I bought from Ect or whatever the brand is like a year ago. This one has holes in it and I don't like them so I'm going to get rid of those and then there's a top that I literally never wear so I'm going to get rid of those as well.
I've pretty much done all three of the drawers, which took a lot less time than I thought it would. These three things do need to be hung up. I now have a bin with swimsuits and bikinis. This is a new one that I have. It still has the tags on it. I got it from Cotton On or Supre, one of those ones. I have my long sleeve shirts in this bin. And then next to that, I have the clothes that don't fit me anymore or they've got holes in them and I don't want them. And then this is the drawer and I still don't even have it full. And this is jeans shorts, pants that aren't jeans, skirts, and then skirts at the back as well. And I'm actually really amazed. I seriously thought I had way more clothes, but apparently I don't. I mean, I still have clothes in Canada, so I guess if I put them all together, I would probably fill these drawers. But yeah, so that's kind of done and sorted, which was pretty easy. Speaking of clothes, I just got a message that I have a package downstairs and I did a little cotton on order. So I've got a few things in there that are clothing related. So I'll go and get it and I'll show you what I got. So these are the few things that I got. I'm looking at the viewfinder through the camera and my camera is color correcting the image right now. So the hat actually looks quite warm toned, but in real life it is green and it is really ugly. I actually thought it was gonna be the color that you're seeing it as. I mean, it might look different when I edit the footage later. Like it's weird because when I hold it up to this like jug at the back, they look really similar, but I swear to you in real life, this is green and I was expecting it to be this color. It's so weird that you can't even see it right now, but I might have to return that because I am not happy with the color. I really thought it was gonna be like a warm, beautiful, non-green looking hat. But I got this really cute little crop with frilly sleeves that I thought would be fabulous for the warm weather. I did also repurchase the bikini top because the size that I have is too big and I can exchange it, it's just I'm not allowed to exchange it until our lockdown ends, but their policy has changed that you can keep things until the lockdown ends and just return it later. So I got the right size, well at least I hope it's the right size, otherwise I have to purchase another one. And then I got this black top, I have it in white, I am obsessed with the white one. To be honest, I'm probably gonna own all of the colors, maybe, I don't know. I just, I love it, it's so comfortable, and so I got that too. I'll also have all of this stuff listed in the description if you're interested. And then I bought a couple of packets of my favorite ankle socks because they're amazing, and half, I would say even maybe more than half of all the ones that I own have uh, had holes in them. So I needed to purchase some new ones, but out of everything, I'm pretty happy with this top because I wasn't really sure what to expect. And then the hat, ah, oh, I don't know if it's showing up. I'm gonna, I need, I don't know. It's really green in light, in real life. I've made a delightful mess in here, but my wardrobe is mostly empty. I have uh, accessories up there, but these shelves are now empty. I'll put some of these bins back in here and then I'm not exactly sure what clothes I'm gonna put on that clothing rack yet because that is clearly a mess, but um, we'll figure that out. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an online platform where you can create websites, blogs, and e-commerce stores. And it is the platform that I have used to create my website. If you are looking to maybe create a blog or an online store, or even create a website for a business that you already own, then I would definitely recommend checking out Squarespace. They have a great range of templates that you can start with so you can get a feel for how your website will look. And then from there, you can customize it to suit your needs. They also have a really great range of tools and help guides to help you navigate and understand how the platform works and achieve things like connecting all of your social media accounts. If you are interested in starting a website, then head to squarespace.com and start a free trial. And when you are ready to launch, you can click the link in the description or use my code to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. It's actually the next morning. I have definitely decided to return this hat because it's like a weird green color. I feel like maybe this morning or today it's actually showing up a little more green on camera, but it's not the sort of warmy neutral that I thought it was gonna be. So I've decided to return it and I've actually purchased a different hat from a company called Will and Bear. And I saw that hat at the same time I was looking for this one and it is more expensive, but I have a feeling it'll be much better quality, but it'll also probably be the color that I want. So I'm going to do that. But I was thinking too, because I have a couple of hats here that I could, you know, hang them on the wall and do that classic hat on the wall look which I feel like is functional but also somewhat aesthetic and then today 
I just need to sort this rack out. This is my clothing rack. It's quite messy. I also have these prints down in here. They used to be above my bed, but now that I have a window above my bed, I don't know what to do with them. So I'm just gonna leave them down there for now. But I have this sort of bamboo clothing rack. It's cheap, flimsy. I got it for like 60 bucks off Kogan a few months ago. And my little white coat hangers that you can see are from Big W and then these gray felt ones are from Spotlight. I had this section of stuff in my wardrobe, but when I wanted to hang up my flowers I brought them all out here and what I'm thinking of doing is switching everything that's on here out for everything that's in here because this is all beautiful and styled and it would make it look really pretty out here and then all this mess can be hidden away in the cupboard. I also realized I'm wearing the same thing that I was wearing yesterday because I don't leave my house and I only wore this shirt for a few hours yesterday so I just thought I would put it back on today. Anyway Let's get organizing. I'm listening to some like 2018 hits at the same time as well. This dress still has the tag on it. I bought this for my birthday in the hopes that, you know, we were gonna have normal life, but that didn't happen. It's from Kukai. I got it on sale for like 30 bucks down from 100, which was awesome. Can't wait to wear it out somewhere, hopefully this summer, but yeah, it's never been worn. In fact, I have quite a few clothing pieces that don't, that still have tags on them because I just haven't had a chance to wear them yet. This is my clothing rack so far. I've decided to go with kind of warm, neutral brownie colors because these are my favorite kind of colors at the moment. I have this beautiful little bag down here that this is actually from my nan. So my nan gave this to me, but it was my nan's sister and my nan's sister made this. Like it's a handmade leather little um, clutch and all of these beautiful like rose patterns are all like, I don't know how it was embossed into the leather, but it's all hand done so this is like a family piece that I will have for a million years and will probably hand down to my kids one day because it is just so incredibly special and it's the most beautiful thing and I'm I feel like maybe I should even have like a little hook or something to hang this bag on the wall because it's absolutely stunning but if you can't tell I really love like tans and browns and like these sorts of olivey greens like even this blends in the hats all of these colors look the same and I mean this rack is kind of practical but I've also got it in here as kind of a decor piece that it's meant to look cute but I think it might have too much stuff on it maybe I need to take a few of the white pieces out and maybe just have a few less things on there and also I have shoes down there that are also brown because I really like brown and I like tan and all that at the moment so I've done that in here I have just all the random colored clothes and stuff that's totally fine to stay in here because it can be you know covered and out of the way which is great um this is a dust bag for one of my like handbags got a beanie which it might be cool to put accessories in here i've just folded up these bin things for now i've got what is it swimwear in the one over there and then this one's got the long sleeve shirts and then i have some accessories up there i should probably go through as well and then the one other item i was thinking of maybe putting on this rack is this incredible play suit so anna is moving back to new Zealand and she actually um, was getting rid of a bunch of her clothes so I got this gorgeous uh, what is this called it's like uh, is it play suit a long a long legged play suits called play suits is that what it's called but it's beautiful and it's from chic and I absolutely love it and I can't wait to wear this over summer if we're allowed outside and I love this color it's like a really beautiful deep rusty color and I actually thought that this would look quite nice up in here with all of these colors maybe I don't know I I want to hang it up in here. So I'm going to quickly rearrange this. Okay, so I still think I might have too many clothes on there, but um, I kind of like it as well. I'm just a little unsure on it. I really want to be able to hang these hats up. Well, I mean, return that hat, get the new hat, hang them up. And yeah, I really quite like how this is looking. I think it's um, a lot neater and a lot nicer and I really like the colors. I thought that maybe the place it might be too dark, but I really like the warm tones. So this is kind of the styled rack. I still think I really need a few less items on there. But anyway, that's it for now. And I, 
in my upcoming videos I have some, what do you call it, knobs. Knobs for these uh, two pieces of furniture coming. Hopefully they're going to come in like the next couple of weeks. I ordered them like a month ago so hopefully I can get in and do that for you. I also need to style up on this dresser which is going to be really fun. I'm really excited about that. And then that'll be almost it for my bed. I actually think too I need to do like a, some stuff to my bedside table because it's very empty. And then something with these like get some cushions or something but it's yeah been a work in progress it's uh, starting to come together a little bit better and I actually oh if I can step to the other side of my bed I actually really don't mind that I think that's starting to look quite nice so yeah that's that's what what we've done I ended up taking one top out which to be honest I don't know that it really did anything when it's a uh, still pretty full I also squished everything slightly more towards the middle and left a gap either side which I quite like and then because I just really liked the colors and all the colors together and I'm obsessed with this color palette I decided to um, style it a little bit to take an Instagram photo so I put these little wedges that I have from C by Chloe I think that's what it's called um, down the bottom and it will be up on my Instagram if you would like to go and have a look at what I did but that's kind of what I styled I really should probably put these shoes I mean I guess I could probably put these shoes up in here and they all browns all go together it's pretty cute actually now I kind of want to take a photo of that as well I have the the hat and the other bag on the ground over there but now I kind of want to take a photo with both shoes anyway that's uh what I've come up with and I think it looks really beautiful and then you know there's this in here which it's it doesn't look so cute anyway I can now finally close this door and hide away all of the mismatched clothes I just have a thing for like color coordinated clothes. I just find it to look so aesthetically pleasing when all the coat hangers are spaced out evenly and all the colors blend together same kind of tones or if it's like rainbow that it goes from like one color like all the way through the rainbow to the next I don't know why I just really enjoy it which is part of the reason that I have this rack in my room so that I can continuously see and admire the colors that I have on this rack and if it's not this color palette it's going to be green because I really like greens as well basically every color in this like hair scarf that I always wear those are like my favorite colors right now so yeah that is my clothing rack I've also done this and I've done that wardrobe a little bit. I feel a little more organized. It's not done. I don't know if it's ever gonna be done. This is a slow process, but I will have some of the other videos coming up, like I just said before, with you know finishing this off and the knobs and everything. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this like wardrobe makeover video. And up the top, you can check out my last video. Down the bottom, I will link to another one of my videos, and I will see you in the next one.